of fun, but share the concert, what kind of weather are we seeing? Well, it, it's uh, certainly more comfortable than it was last night, even before showers were move, moving across the area. Uh, we had some uh, excessive humidity in the air. Now, it's not bone dry out there, but the humidity has come down. The dew points are in the low 60s, which is what equates to moderate humidity. And uh, actually, temperature is running a little below average. Rain cooled air and a lot of cloud cover. Let's take a look at the fair forecast, the last one of the year for tomorrow, the last day, obviously, of the fair. A great day to head out there. It will be relatively comfortable. Uh, come late morning, a few clouds mixing with the sunshine, moderate humidity through the day again, uh, meaning your perspiration has a shot at evaporating and lifting some heat away from your body. And still pleasant in the evening. Uh, peak temperature a little toasty come 3 o'clock in the afternoon and on the fairgrounds, 82 with a northeast breeze at only 7 to 13. So you'll feel, like I said, a little toasty. But we've had some real steam bath days at the fair, so I think most fairgoers will be happy. 74 the high today, that's four below the average, but the low was above average, record 90. And uh, we're now running well above average at the airport for rain this month. As I said, the drought in far northern western New York is over after last night's, in some cases, torrential downpours. And uh, we look across the map, there's a stationary boundary with cooler air to the north that will not get here, but we're already somewhat cooler and all the heavy duty precipitation away from us. This bubble of high pressure, not the strongest one, but it's enough to squish some of the clouds with its sinking motion tonight. So we'll get skies with some partial clearing. And by morning, uh, mostly clear skies in many locations. There's the northeast flow, something wrong at the middle port instrument. I'll guarantee you it's not dead calm there. But the winds are light, and they will stay that way uh, right on into tomorrow night. Currently 71 at the airport with a northeast breeze at 10. That humidity relative to the temperature is moderate. I wouldn't call it crisp but it's better. And no extreme heat anywhere in the map. You say, well, 86, that looks pretty hot in St. Louis. If you ever lived or visited St. Louis in the summer, they're saying this is great. That is one steamy town in the summer. Low 70s in Niagara and Orleans counties, also in the metro area. And cooler where there has been more persistent cloud cover to the south and in the higher elevations with some mid and upper 60s. For uh, tonight, uh, just partly to mostly clear skies developing, but We'll have that milky look in the skies again tomorrow. Wildfire smoke will still be around, but basically a nice day. Next chance of showers and storms arriving toward Tuesday afternoon, and a few of those may pack some downpours and maybe some gusty winds. For tonight, the overnight low 63, some mid-50s in the foggy valleys. Tomorrow, mostly to partly sunny, moderate humidity, seasonably warm, 82 in the metro area, upper 70s on the hills. Tomorrow night, similar to tonight, low 60s, and then we're looking good on Monday, too. It is on Tuesday when we'll have to monitor some showers and storms by Tuesday afternoon for intensity and rainfall potential. But as usual, coverage uneven. And then we are actually on the cool side Wednesday behind those storms, 73 and breezy. And then very comfortable on Thursday and Friday next week. So we are going to catch a break and we're still looking good even for the start of next week and on Saturday. Sounds good, Don. Okay. You said it last night. Some scary storms here also yeah. in the Bills locker room. Yeah, you know, we were, you know, great to see a Bills win, but unfortunately there was.